Sunny, 75, and it finally stopped raining. What's up, guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. We got McNine with his favorite yeah. shirt that he's never washed. Look at this one. I, w I wore ATV in last weekend. Ah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. You didn't get muddy. Yeah. Oh, I got muddy. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, we're down here because we had the flood of the year. The water was pretty much right up to the fence. Like the Maverick would have been completely underwater right now. And also, by the way, if you haven't checked out the tag Blackberry Sour, I suggest you do so. Even that Bumblebee liked it. They're available in Ontario. I'm just gonna crush Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dollars in the water. Don't wash away, dog. Anyways, so we were wanting to skip the river the other day, but the water was up to there and it was too dangerous. Like, if I did ever go down, that sled would have been gone. So. I was gonna do it. Laura talked me out of it. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. I I got. Uh, float up down by my house. Yeah, I got my hip waders. I'm good to go. So my shoes would have been dry at least. But uh, yeah, so the water has dropped down. It's still quite high. I'd say she's probably three, four feet deep right now. But is this a new rock? No, Zan uh, pushed that there. I think he dug it out of the lawn right there. But yeah, it's new to here. It's new to here. Yeah, it, it actually, like, it got, it got legs and it walked over here. So, hey, yeah, we just want to check things out, see if I had a nice entrance to start skipping. So we got the GoPro, we got the drone, and we're going to do a few shots today. I think I'll start here, go fly by, uh, rip through the rapids. I'm not a big fan of going through the rapids, but it's all right. It's very loud going through the rapids. Because really? the sound is bouncing everywhere. Where do you go, right? Right through the middle, yeah. It'd be cool though today with the water flowing a little faster. I'll actually be going pretty slow. This way. That way, yeah. That way I'll be going fast, but uh. You got a good to it, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, no, we were gonna stay dry, but. Not anymore. I hear that shaking in the water doesn't actually dry you off. Don't go any deeper. You're gonna go for a little, a little ride along. All right, let's go get the sled. So this was all underwater the other day. Right to here. Right to there. Right to here. We're just checking out spots where I'm gonna enter and exit. So I was hoping the weeds were a little more down, but we'll just have to level. Got Noel leading the way here. I'm gonna run her over. She's gonna pee on everything. Pick up the pace! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> That'll scare. comes the old hitchhiker look at him just like a model walking the runway he's sweating look at the hips move just like a model on the runway there it is bit side to side not front to back but that's all right that's like a robot eh here we go gotta get some protection with this monster going here stay here Prince 
Dad's ass on him. Look at this thing. The ultimate weed whacker. I should probably be wearing safety glasses. Yeah, you should have something on. So we just had a blue heron sitting down here and then one that kind of looked like a blue heron, but it was pure white. Albino. Maybe it's the female. That's the rare albino, northern albino crane. Mm. They don't come down from, they're usually up in Alaska. They don't come down this way too often. Yeah. But like once, I think it's once every 19 years, they make their way down to southern Ontario. Okay. We have a few fresh bass and I have to go back to Alaska. Okay. Yeah. should probably fact check that later. Yeah. But. Yeah, you <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready for this? Come on up here. Come here. He's back there somewhere. Nala, come here. Come here. Look at this thing. Just stares at me. It's like, you don't own me. I'm not listening. Here we go. Should be fishing soon. All right. Got the blue haired flying in the background. Majestic. Just majestic. How'd that work? Now, where'd he go? Hey, where'd he go? He's coming back. Quick U turn, and he's on his way back. Oh, we're good. He's off. Sacrifice my socks for the shot, but we're in. He's got kind of a muddy turnaround over there. I think he's going to come ramp that wave right there. Just a little air time. If I was doing it, that's what I'd do. The suspense is crazy. She's motoring. Coming. Heading into Sassy's in Thorndale, grab some butter tarts. I kind of made that part up. I didn't think he was actually going to ramp that, but got a little hair. Not too shabby. All right. I can hear him. 
Can't see him. Let's get set up. Maybe he'll go fly by here. Ready to get splashed, Nella? Whoa, deep spots. She was flooded here the other day. But we're back. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. in the boots I think. I think it might have just went in over the top. Here we go winding up. Full tilt here he eh? just wrapping. bit of airtime off day. Hey Nella? Hey. Nothing. Nothing. Here comes the wake. It's a no wake zone, sir. No wake zone. to get the drone up a few more drone shots look at this I'm out here for the perfect shot and here he comes up top here right eh? ready to go here he's back yeah it's, it's weird through there eh? well you got it's funny I was talking I'm standing there I'm like He's gonna come through here, get a little air time off here. Then you come through, got a little air time <laughs> off there. I'm like, I didn't plan that. I was trying to stay kind of between the rapids and that rock because I see it's the smoothest and it's smooth on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but as soon as you're, when you're coming this way going through the rocks, when you're carving, the river's still pushing you. So, like, normally you carve around. When I carve, I'm actually going with the current still. Are you accelerating more going back this way against the current or not bad? Uh, a little more, yeah. Yeah. I was trying to do a wheelie the last time I came. Around, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But, you know, at the same time, I don't want to slow down too much because it is still a few. You don't want to sink. Yeah. So. But, no, that was fun. I'm, like, you get so wet. Yeah. The skis just throw up all the, uh, all the water. And, Look at here. It feels good. I found the buoys over there. It's what some, are they? Uh, so there's two red buoys. Crab trap? There. It looks like some sort of, like, yeah, it's just like a trap, but it's only got walls. There's no ends, so. And the, the holes are like this big, so I don't know what they're trying That's to weird, catch. eh? Musky. Yeah. Eh? Sturgeon. Mus muskrat. muskrat. Muskrats. Yeah, so. Anyways, I was going to bring it back, but it's big. Like, oh, really? Oh, like, is it metal? Yeah, it's all metal. It's this long, and it's got two buoys on the end. Really? Maybe Razor J planted over there. He's catching crab. Yeah, maybe. Eh? You never know. Yeah. Carpet season. So, yeah, I did the big carve. I ended up landing on that side. Unfortunately, it's super rocky on that side, but there's no weeds. Yeah. So, it did feel a little better. And then this end, I popped. I couldn't see where we cut. Oh, no. Because there was still that edge of weeds beside the river. Yeah. So I plopped off right where we cut. And then now that I've done it three or four times, I've kind of plowed it She's flat. Yeah. It's just not wide enough, though, to turn around. I have to get off and do it a few times. But uh, yeah, it was good. My GoPro fogged up and it was super soaked, but there should be a few pits. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking let's throw the drone up. We'll get a few shots and then we'll let's uh, do it. Call her day. She's good at weedy. Look at oh, yeah. But yeah, I'm glad I wore these because, like, 
<laughs> Finn Trails. Yeah, I know. Brought my jacket. It's in the Maverick. Forgot it. Yeah. I know what it's at. I just assumed you you were just going because you were hot. I no just jacket. I like a giant pylon. Yeah. Through, yeah. But the water does feel nice, though. And I didn't wear gloves today. I don't know why I didn't wear gloves. But... You're all over the map. Yeah. It kinda, hey. Actually, it kind of feels good. It's a little more slippery when your gloves get wet because there's a lot of, uh, whatever, the rubber rubber palms. So it kind of feels good holding right onto them. It's just... When you come into shore, she's a little rocky, but she's that's what a little I'm rocky. For, so I'm not too worried about the carbides on this thing. So. Anyways, yeah, let's set up the drone, get a few shots, and then uh, go enjoy a tag soda. Let's do it. Look at this, we're back. The drone, we got her going. Skydio just following along. Coming in there, girl, you were right in the way, right in the runway there. I can hear him, I don't know where he is. Oh, he's up top. He's got it, he's got it. He's coming through, he's got her. All right, all right. I was hoping you had her back there. <laughs> I know, I get out on the water out of position, but I think it went behind a tree. Yeah, yeah. Which is, you know, kind of my fault. I, yeah. I was supposed to have it set on the right, it was on the left. Well, that was a good shot there on yeah. my angle. But as I'm doing it, I'm like, where's that drone? I know. Where's the drone? As I'm looking. As, I, as soon as I took off, I looked back, I'm like, crap. Yeah. So that's why I came back super fast. For sure, yeah. And then I got back and it, it reconnected. And it was just sitting there. Just floating? No, no, it hadn't even, well, yeah, floating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It hadn't landed yet, but it was uh, down to 12%. So I'm like, well, I could do one more pass. Yeah. I'm like, no. I tell you, it looks super, it's unreal just watching that thing fly behind. Oh, it's amazing. Like, it's like, unbelievable. You wouldn't believe, the, the part I like about it is, I used to have a drone that you only could fly it. And I would get okay shots, but I never get shots myself. And it's like you can hand it off to a friend, but you know, you're gonna spend an hour training them how to use it. That's why I love the Skydio too. You just take the beacon or your phone, you click on yourself and you get the shot. Like, simple as that. Like, anyone can do it. So, like, 
click on the app, turn it on, yeah, go. It's unreal. So you set I, it up in 30 seconds. I got the the first Skydio. Yeah, the first one. And I can do it. Yeah. That means anybody can do it. Yeah. <laughs> that one's got the bumpers on it so you can hit trees. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, but no, I was thinking uh, grab another battery. We'll get a few more shots. Oh, pissed like Nala there. And uh, yeah. there were a few more times. Whew. I was trying to wheelie. I can wheelie up the start. Oh, yeah. But when I'm already up to speed, I can't really wheelie. No. <laughs> when I drive slow, holy crap, the water shoots up right through here. I was standing at the back. I'm like, why's the water hitting me in the knees? Because it comes off the ski and shoots up right through here. So that's why we blocked the uh, the belt, the belt there with the piece of fender off the old Cavalier. An old '94 Cavalier fender yeah. there. And I left the zip tie on. Yeah. Just so it's you know people like to talk about. It. Yeah. That honestly, we talked about it earlier because of that zip tie. So what's this? <laughs> yeah. Yep. So all right, let's uh, we'll grab another battery here and throw her back up. Well. Well, we went out to go for our third uh, little session there, and we have an issue. The recoil is not grabbing. So I had this problem once last year. It only did it once. I pulled it, let it go, it clicked back in. So uh, obviously a spring or a piece of plastic in there broke. Um, if you guys have any idea how to fix it, let me know because I've never replaced a recall and definitely not a recall on the 600 RS. So our next issue is we got to get it back up there. <laughs> so, luckily we brought the Maverick down with a pretty half broken belt on it. Yeah. And a professional DeWalt driver. Do you know what you need? More toys. You need the four seater 600 Razor, the minivan. I'll pull these, I'll pull them both right up the hill. 900, what'd 900. I say? You said 600. 900. Hey, sell yourself short, yeah. Brad. Ugh. Did I say six? Yeah, you said six. Oh my God. All right, well let's, uh, We'll take the winch, we'll wrap it underneath, and we're going out. You're going to put the winch underneath the machine and pull from the back? Oh, it's back, we'll back up all the way. No, we got to go, we got to drag it because we got to put it in low. Yeah, is yeah, there... We can go through this gate right here. Is there a toe strap up there? Uh, I don't think so. Winch will be fine. You, are we pulling them forwards? Yeah. So you're going to put the winch under the, under the machine? Yeah. And out the back? Out the back. Just don't take any sharp turns there, Brad. I could ride this, you could ride that. Or that, that's easy. There we go. All right, well, let's suck her up and get her going. <laughs> All right, so here's where we're at. All right, ready? So once we get through here, Brad, try and turn, turn hard right. Okay. Am I gonna be able to camera and turn this thing? Need four hands. Four hands, I'll be back. All right. Oh, look at this. Just out for a cruise on the sled. We had the weed whacker on the back. We aren't going anywhere too quick here. This is about as fast as you'll see me on a sled though. As long as the belt doesn't break in the old Maverick, we're good. Hello? What's up? Okay, that move. Just another day. Everybody thinks it's so easy here. We're roughing it as we get towed by a maverick on a on a sled in the middle of summer. Up to this place. <laughs> Not too shabby. Nice day though. Whoa! Almost got hit the... Gotta lean! We're going. We're going through the gravel. Fish tail. Couple bumps. Oh, we'll get over those. We're good. Okay. I don't want to drag it across. The I was hoping that we'd be fixed, but nothing. Nothing, right? Nothing. Yeah, it's probably a spring or a piece of plastic. Yeah, I don't know. So. Piece of plastic. I'm sure that's one of the cheaper things to fix compared to, you know, sinking it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I am soaked down to here. I hear you. Yeah, I'm sweating. Uh, did you see that ride in here? I saw that. Like, it's the fastest I've been on a sled ever. <laughs> Good call on uh, tying it on the hook there, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> they would have run under a tire if it didn't. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll grab the dolly. We'll yeah, it worked good. Get yourself a dolly. <laughs> You've had this thing probably 15 years. She's, she towed a few sleds in her day. Let's see the process. Make it look easy. Oh, yeah. Hook. My most favorite part is Justin found these two pieces of wood because this dolly was made obviously for older sleds. They get taller, longer, especially the race sleds. And uh, so it's not exactly built for this sled. So he just, we wrapped uh, uh, the strap around a piece of wood, but he found a piece of wood with every nail in the book in it. Yeah, and in all these years, you haven't tried to get those nails out. Well, this is just from last year. You've got every DeWalt tool in the book here. It this was, was pre-DeWalt. I'm just saying now, we could take 45 seconds Zip, zip, you're gone. Again, it's it's a story piece. It's a story. It's, the story. it's about the story. But I hear the Walt ship something today. Woo! My dad just sent me a picture. Let's go. And it's something I didn't know they were shipping me. Let's go check it out. Is it a new car? <laughs> and then this is door number two. <laughs> a new car. All right. Push her in there. Does the Walt do winches? I need a winch. I think so. Hey, we got a winch. When are the winches coming? Hopefully soon. Hopefully everything's soon. Backordered. Stupid, everything's back ordered. Stupid pandemic. Yeah. So. Right, Did you say it. push her in there? Like you want me to push her in there? Well, both of us, yeah. We're going to double it. Well, mostly successful day. We're back up. We're in the garage. We trimmed some bush. We broke that thing. The uh, Blew the custom chain that Jay welded on. And look what we got here. Look at this little present. We get to the top. The wall, the dual truck backed in here, dropped a little toy off. I didn't even know they were coming. The cordless LED hood lid. Hood lid. Hood light. <laughs> hood lid. Straps right around your hood. Boom. Do you, do you got like a Christmas tree. Do you got a knife? Look at that guy. <laughs> He's got a sword. The old drywall special. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So I just took off my hip waders. I am soaked head to toe. Top half was water, bottom half. Is some salty liquid, so. Yeah. What do we got? Lots of cardboard. Look at that unit. Look at this thing, eh? Oh, just pull her apart. Oh, folds. Just like that. Full Simple LED. as that. That'd be handy for. Imagine this turns all around, yeah. Let me see. <laughs> we'll grab one of the uh, chargers here. Don't look at these green oh ones. Those are my dad's. Wait till you see they don't this. count. I'm not gonna show. I'm just gonna demonstrate. Plug me in. Plug you in. Shabang. Apparently these. This is my dad's too. Does he got dad on it? Well, Rob. Roberto. Right. Oh boom. Jeez, that is bright. Let's do a little demonstration. Let's pretend this is a. Oh yeah, we can do it right okay. on here. Oh, oh, not one. Right here. Come on. Does it? Doesn't it extend? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that, eh? Look at this. Hey? Eh? Not just a hood light, you got a golf cart Party light. light. Party light. And like, yeah, there's hooks on both How ends. How sweet is that? That is a great idea. I'm guessing it's a new product. I did not know it was coming. I did see they posted it the other mm -hmm. day. But yeah, you could just literally walk in, hang it off the wall. Oh, you can do half. Do half. So yeah, like, boom. Oh no. Oh, double. I got you covered. <laughs> I got you covered. Hey? This thing does everything. Uh, DeWalt probably didn't even know it did that. No, no. <laughs> we do it like this. Yeah. We switch around. Oh, that's cool how they turn. Look at this. The bees like it. Hello. Like How's your Roomba. day? Shabang. New party light. That's the thing. DeWalt. And you can stand on the ground probably right, too. Right, MC9 needs one of these for the 1950 GMC truck. Yeah, they'll Come watch. On. I'm sure they'll be watching the video. Let's Maybe they'll go. send us an extra. One more. Can it, will it stand up on the ground? Oh. Stand up anywhere you want it to. Perfect. Just like that. That's a sweet little light. This is a sweet light. Yeah, that is handy. LED, 1700 lumens, 360, single arm LED control. Basically, Fully adjustable. And it's 12 and 20 volt. 
Sweet. Well, thank you, DeWalt. You guys are the best. They're one of the best companies we've ever worked with, and they don't ask a thing. They just say, yeah. enjoy our tools. Hey. We trust you. Don't light them on fire. That's not a guarantee. I like stuff on fire. Some freshy t-shirts. We need some freshies. Oh, yeah. I did ask for those, so hopefully yeah. they'll be coming soon. But for now, I am going to change the belt on the Maverick. You guys probably don't want to see that. Or do you? Or do you? Oh, oh here he goes. Stealing stuff. You know what? I am going to show you guys. Might as well, right? You want to see me change in the belt? I know you got to go, but... got to uh, go. It's the last day on the lake. Ooh, Picking gotta go boat pick up, the boat up. River cruise, the river's full of logs, big storm. Full of logs. It'll be a slow cruise. Probably snakes, eh? Watch for snakes. Legs going especially legs if going one last rip on the especially if you're on a plane. Snakes on a plane will catch you every time. What was the guy's name? Uh, it's not Denzel. Denzel. No, it's, it's not Morgan. Uh, Uncle Morgan, though. No. no, Morgan oh, Freeman. Denzel. No, it's not Denzel. Oh no, it's uh, the guy from Triple X. I always forget Shaft. his name. That's who it is. What's his name? His name's like Shaft. No, but his name in the movie, he played Shaft. Oh. Um, we look like a couple If you guys know his name, Snakes on a Plane, let us know. I know it. We're going to start asking more questions and videos because I want to see you guys comment more. You know what? I'm you know gonna... what? Brad, next time you're out, just start bringing riddles and jokes. And, and every jokes. like five minutes, throw one in there and see if they know how to answer. Next time we're on here? Anywhere. On the video. Okay. All right. And I'll just start... Like my fact about the albino heron? Yeah. I'll just start tossing facts out. I scared him, eh? He landed down where I was landing down there. Now he took off again. He, was he took off again. All right, well, we'll get the sled hopefully fixed up. We're going to change the belt in the Maverick now. And now he's going to chill like a villain. Thanks, Brad, for coming out. Hey. Hey, 10,000 followers. Let's, let's do get, it. Let's get Brad 10,000. We want to spray him with ketchup. Honestly, Start sharing it around because it'll be hilarious. Yeah, it's going to be vomit, good. I'll I'll cry. Brad's going to cry. All right, let's change the belt. All right. Just been chilling here for the last few minutes. I should have filmed it when Brad and my dad, they left at the same time. And uh, our gate was actually struck by lightning a few years ago, and it just hasn't been right since. We've changed the control module on it like three or four times now. Anyways, most times it opens all the way up. There's like a magnet or a sensor on the ground when you're heading out, but... Sometimes it'll open halfway, hesitate for two seconds, and it'll shut. So if you don't make it across the laser sensor, it'll shut on your vehicle. Anyways, my dad poked through and it started shutting and he just made it and it stopped probably within an inch of his car. And then it ended up opening back up. So, uh, but yeah, I'm just sitting here chilling with Nala, uploading uh, the Skydio footage to my phone. So another great thing about the Skydio is as soon as you're done, it uploads, you can go through and pick the whole clip or just pick the snippets of action you want. And it uploads all directly to your phone. And if you're recording on the drone uh, using your phone down there, like if you keep the phone with you, it records all the audio. So all of that snowmobile drone audio, I'll have it. It'll be in my chest pocket, so I don't know if it'll be the best audio, but it'll still be good. Anyways, so I'm just going to finish that, head over to the barn and uh, drop our little lawnmower off and change that belt. I think Nala's gonna sleep the rest of the day. All right, we got the kit. I got Nala's water bowl, all my DeWalt tools, new belt, some clutch cleaner, and my water. Let's see if we can screw this up correctly. All right, let the games begin. I got the kit, a couple tools, my half inch impact. So basically, need the jack, lift her up 12 feet. Gotta pop this tire off. Take this a suspension bolt out, the bottom one. I'm gonna just take all these out. Pop that off. And then use my clutch tool. Pop that out, so hopefully it doesn't take me longer an hour. Even though I should be done right now, but I got an email. So I sat down on that picnic table and apparently it took me 30 minutes to send one email. <laughs> all right, let's let the games begin. Oh man, hilarious. She was over there in the grass. I don't know if she saw a mouse or a snake or something. She must have jumped six feet in the eye like a cat. Just bing! Anyways, got the belt out. As you can see, she's still intact, but 
it did delaminate itself. So this thing, I'd have to say at least 1500K on it, if not 2000. So this belt owes me nothing. So I'm gonna get a cleaner out. Thank God for these DeWalt tools. They are life changing. I also have the um, belt housing guard on the inside, as you can see here. So it's an aluminum guard because when you're driving fast and being an idiot like me and your belt's doing a million miles an hour and it explodes, it shoots right through the housing because this is plastic. So it actually explodes and the housing's $200 or the belt guard is $200. So you replace the belt guard once, put it in there, install it, and then you will never have to change the housing. Highly recommend it. Alba Racing makes it. And uh, yeah, so a little sand and dirt in there too, but. Anyways, also when you're using your uh, clutch separation tool, always jam something in between or else it goes right into your clutch like that. That was the first time I did it. I did not know. I'm gonna watch the YouTube video and they just said jam a penny or I found this big washer. So instead of giving some nice scars on your, on your clutch. So let's get this uh, super ATV belt in there. We'll be good to go. Good job, Nala. Thanks for all the help. Well, that actually only took about 45 minutes. Replaced the belt, cleaned it all out, and I actually straightened my tire. It's hard to tell right now, but my tire's been leaning in for about three years. <laughs> I thought I fixed it once, but I didn't adjust it far enough. Basically, when I got the Super ATV uh, radius rods, I had not put them on right, because I didn't know how. I just kind of threw them on, and my tires were all out of whack, so. Anyways, got my hands dirty today. Uh, she was a good belt, many kilometers. This was actually a super ATV belt to begin with. And uh, most people I've heard change them around a thousand K. So this one gave me 1500, 2000 K. And then I was being an asshole and doing donuts and four by four launches and evil power sports launches and 200 horsepower. And so I'm glad it didn't explode. It just kind of delaminated. So she was, she had her time, she was done. So. Anyways, if you need any parts, definitely check out Super ATV. If you want to make your machine street legal, they have all the parts to do it. The DOT Warrior AT tires, the plug and play signals, the mirrors, the horn, the freaking lighted license plate bracket. They got it all. So check them out, Super ATV. But for now, I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to go do a sauna and go home for dinner. So it's full shift today. Oh, Nala's whining. She's ready to go home. Full shift today. That was fun. Hit the river. Didn't sink it. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. Good listening to me, Siri. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, thank you guys again. Make sure you leave some funny comments. Go follow Brad and have a fantastic day. We'll see you later. Bye, Nala.